Hey everybody, George Conley from Scratch Golf Tips. I'm coming at you with another video. Today, uh, I'm gonna be talking about how to choose the right golf ball for your game. There are so many different golf balls on the market, uh, some very expensive, some very cheap. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about how to navigate your way through that and how to find the right golf ball that suits your game. First thing I want to talk about is a hard versus soft golf ball. It's pretty pretty self-explanatory. Um, a classic example would be, you know, you got your Pro V1 and most Callaway balls. This is a super soft. This is a Titleist Pro V1. Uh, Pro V1 is much harder. Callaway is super soft, obviously a lot softer. So what does this do for your game? A harder golf ball, you're ge you'll generally get more distance off the tee. Your driver will go a little bit further. Your irons will go a little bit further. Uh, however, it should be noted that. If you're switching to a hard ball, you're not going to get 30 yards off the tee. No golf ball can do that unless it's some kind of legal golf ball. It'll lengthen it out a little bit, but not a ton. Your spin rate may go down with a, with a harder golf ball. With a softer golf ball, if you hit a slice, that softer golf ball may accentuate that slice. Uh, a softer golf ball, the, one of the main benefits, fits, <coughs> excuse me, main benefits for it would be feel around the greens. Uh, if you struggle chipping, a softer golf ball is much easier to control spin on. Uh, for a lot of people, it feels better when you're putting with it. So that, those are the main differences between a soft and hard golf ball. Uh, a lot of medium golf balls are right in between. They'll give you a little bit of distance and they'll give you a little bit of feel around the greens. Um, every golf ball leans more towards one side. So I would just recommend trying a few out and seeing which one you feel best with. Now I've hit a lot of different golf balls, I've changed a lot, but the golf ball that I've liked the most over the past couple years is the Bridgestone E6. Bridgestone E6 comes in two different um, types. You have the Bridgestone E6 Soft and the Bridgestone E6 Speed. Uh, I'm hitting the E6 Speed, which I love because it gives me a lot of distance off the tee. Uh, obviously, again, not 30 yards, but it feels good off the tee, I get good distance. Um, spin rate is pretty low on this ball, which I like because sometimes my fade gets, gets too, too far out to the right. So spin rate is good, and I love the feeling of this ball around the greens. I've always putted very well with this ball, and my chipping, I can control spin, I can control check. So I really like this golf ball for my game. Now if you're a long hitter, and you like to bomb the ball down there, and then you can figure it out down the greens, go with a hard golf ball. Go with the Titleist Pro V1. Uh, I think the TaylorMade TP5X is, an is another pretty good hard ball. So if you like distance, and you'd rather get the ball far down there, and then kind of just figure it out as you go uh, on, the, on the greens, then go with a hard golf ball. If you're a shorter player, you don't hit the ball too far, but your spin rate is pretty low and you can hit the ball straight most of the time and you like a lot of feel around the greens, you're a good putter, you can get up and down a lot, I'd go with a softer ball. Uh, off the top of my head, the Callaway Chrome Soft is one of the best soft balls out there. I still really like the Bridgestone E6 Soft. I played that uh, for a good couple weeks and it, I, they're both very good golf balls. Now a big part of buying golf balls for a lot of people is the price point. Uh, I believe a dozen Pro V1s is about fifty fifty five dollars um, and that's very expensive and frankly for a lot of amateurs who may go through a couple balls every round it might not be worth it sometimes they get a bad rep but you know a, a pinnacle golf ball a srixen golf ball if you're a 20 handicapper there's not going to be a ton of difference in your game if you're switching balls now that's not to say that I don't think consistency with golf ball is big. If you're really looking to improve your game, I always talk about consistency. Consistency in your swing, in your pre-shot routine, in your practice. You should also have consistency in your golf ball. If you're switching from a Callaway Chrome Soft to a Titleist Pro V1, those are very, very different golf balls and it will change the way that you play your game. In terms of pretty inexpensive balls, I think it goes, Titleist is one of the most expensive, Callaway Chrome Soft and then the TaylorMade TP5, those are both pretty expensive. But below that, there are some very quality golf balls. The Bridgestone E6, uh, I know that Bridgestone recently came out with, I believe the E12, that's their newer golf ball. Whenever a golf company comes out with something new, the stuff that came out before it is dramatically decreased in price. Bridgestone E6, you can get a dozen of these for, I think under $25. So you can get two dozen Bridgestones for the price of one dozen Titleist Pro V1s. If you're going through maybe a Dick's Sporting Goods or a Golf Galaxy and you're looking at uh, the packaging, every ball kind of gives you a breakdown of 
you know, the outer layer, the inner core, and it shows you what that ball is good for. It may say low spin rates, um, longer distance, better feel around the greens. Obviously, these balls won't say, oh, we have very bad spin rates. They, they won't admit to that, but you can kind of figure it out by what they leave in and out. All the information that you need is on your package. All that you need going in is a knowledge of your game and what you need to see out of your golf ball. But I do think hitting the same golf ball for an extended period of time just adds a consistency to the game that some people might completely miss out on just by going in and, and figuring out, oh, I'm gonna hit this ball that I found on the range. But hitting the same ball, you can really hone in on some skills that I think a lot of amateurs may miss out on. So that's all I've got for finding the right golf ball. If you don't like the ball you're hitting, just switch to a new ball. Keep trying them until you feel comfortable with one ball. And once you do uh, and you hit it regularly, that'll add a, a level of consistency to your game that I think is pretty valuable for a lot of amateurs. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it very much. On the left side of your screen, you should see a subscription button to the SGT YouTube channel. On the right side, uh, there is a video that YouTube has recommended that you watch. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch these videos. Uh, play well and take care.